everyone from North Carolina. I had a small kiln opening yesterday and my husband wasn't here to help me so I just got everything out and I thought I'd show you the results and talk about these colors a minute and I have a question maybe someone can help me with. This is a pot that I did. You may have seen it before it was bisque fired. It has sand dollar on it Oops, uh, and a couple of starfish which I painted those first. I um, did this one in blue rutile. This one is spring green and this one is um, that Laguna oatmeal. And I put wax resist over those and I did the ropes in dark chino or regular chino and wax resisted those and then the outside of the pot and the inside got dipped in uh, light chino. Now I'm getting a lot of crawling with this light chino and I actually think it's really cool looking on this pot but um, of course that would be ruined if it were some sort of functional pottery for food but it is kind of cool looking on this pot and it fits just right in with the decor and it turned out really great otherwise so if someone could just give me an idea on what I might be able to do with that, if I need to thin the um, glaze down a little bit, or what you think the problem might be. I bisque fire to 05, uh, slow bisque, and uh, l l kiln. This pot, this little bowl, I just am crazy about it. This is Midnight Blue from Laguna. I sprayed the outside first. Then I came back around the rim and just drizzled down Arctic Blue, Blue Rutile, and a little bit of Archie's base. And I made sure there wasn't too much in the bottom. And it just turned out really cool looking. I didn't put quite as much on the outside because uh, I wasn't quite sure about the running. I know the Arctic Blue runs and the Archie's base is really um, a bad runner. So it came out just fine and I think it's going to be uh, something I'd like to try on a big platter. Okay, this pot turned out just gorgeous. It's um, just regular chino with blue rutile over the top. And I love how that blue rutile breaks. That is just the nicest glaze ever. It just always does well. And I, uh, I just had dipped, as you can see that. These soup bowls or chili bowls, I'm real happy with this glaze combination and this shape. Got to work on getting the shape a little more uniform with all of them, but I'm real happy with the shape. This is Coyote Black with um, regular Chino over the top and where there's some there's a seashell right here on the top and right here under the handles and there's one on the side. I came back with um, Blue Rutile there and I wax resisted over that before I did any uh, dipping and the Blue Rutile kind of pulled along the rim and it just gave it a really neat look so I think they turned out pretty good I'm happy about those just a couple of tests on two different types of clay with this midnight blue I wanted to see what it would look like this is on Raku and it is a, a just a beautiful blue if you just want something that's nothing but blue it's a little different than cobalt blue it's darker it doesn't look in the video quite as dark as it actually is. And then this is it on the speckled brownstone. And if you can see, you can see some of the specks if you when you you know get it up close enough to look at it. And it looks pretty good. I probably wouldn't repeat that by itself. I like it better with something breaking over it. Um, so I think that's going to be a a good solid stable color to use. This is um, pot with chino, regular chino, dipped um, about three quarters of the way up and then the Laguna antique iron on the top and that antique iron 
does have that sort of coppery green break in it uh, that's real neat and you just can't see the full effect of it with this video but and I used a zester tool to make that basket move. I had seen someone do that on YouTube and I thought that was kind of a neat effect so I tried that on this little pot and I think it turned out pretty cute. These are my first attempt at tea bowls and um, I think they came out okay. This is Shino with the antique iron on top and I don't know why we didn't get any green effect with these. We didn't. We just got the runs which look kind of neat and I like it but it's probably not something I'd repeat again without some other color mixed with it, some green or some blues. I uh, just think it needs a little something else. But they're kind of neat and I like them. And this is just that old pocketbook pot I did uh, as an experiment, something to do some test glazing with. Wanted to see what that blue would look like with Chino. Don't like it at all, really. I mean, it's okay, but it's not something that I like, so I probably won't repeat it. Um, turned out kind of interesting, but nothing I'm crazy about. Anyway... That's all that was in that kiln load, and if someone could just give me some ideas on this glaze, I'd be thrilled to death. That's it from North Carolina for this round. We're bisque firing another load right now. Got some pretty large things in here. Just started up, and uh, got these things left over here to get fired, and, and uh, this shelf to get glazed. I made another starfish platter, and yay, it hasn't cracked so far, so we'll see if we can get it through the bisque firing and the glazing without it cracking. Um, learned a lot about particle alignment, so I'm trying a new way of wedging and putting my clay on the wheel in the right direction, and so far I think things have improved. I'll give you an update on that as I find out more this week from some things I have down at school. So have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for all your help.